Hello traders, welcome back to Pips Traders YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to be doing daily technical analysis in gold. First we look at the economic calendar for today. Then we'll start with our gold analysis. So when we look at today's calendar, today is Tuesday, March 8. So today we don't have any high impacting news for any of the currencies here. And we have low impacting news for most of the major currencies. Let us start with our gold analysis. So I am in daily time frame now. When we look at the price action in daily time frame, I have already mentioned that this whole area is acting as a very strong resistance level because when we look at the past price action, this level had acted as a very strong resistance. In the past, this is where the actual bearish trend reversal had happened. So this will be acting as a very strong resistance for the coming price action also. Currently the price action is trading within this resistance level. Let us wait and see if it breaks this resistance level of 2014. Currently it is trading around the level of 2000. We also know that this price action or the bullish trend is due to the war tension between Ukraine and Russia. Once this situation is under control, we can expect a bearish trend reversal to happen. But for now, we can see only the bullish trend to continue. So if the price action breaks this resistance level of 2014, the next level of resistance will be we'll use the Fibonacci extension tool to find out the next resistance level. This is where the bullish trend started and this was the highest level before going to the next level of high. So when we see the price action, currently it is finding resistance at the 61.80 level from the Fibonacci extension tool. And if the price action retraces, we know that this level of 1973 will be acting as a strong support because previously this level had acted as a resistance. So if the price action breaks this 2014 level, next level of resistance is going to be at 2037. And if it breaks this level, we have the next level of resistance around 2078. So now the price action in daily time frame is in a very strong bullish trend and it is making new highs every day. Currently the price action is in a retracement, you can see it, it is forming a red color candle. And if the retracement continues, we can expect it to take support at the level of 1973 and to bounce back on the bullish trend. Let us do the analysis in hourly time frame. So I am in hourly time frame now. When we look at the price action in hourly time frame, I have drawn another resistance line or the trend line over here. The price action every time it tests this resistance line, you can notice that it has bounced back. And when we notice the price action, it had always consolidated then made a new high. Again it has consolidated then made a new high. Currently also it is consolidating which means that we can expect it to retrace and take support around the level of 1973 because we have seen the previous resistance level to be acting as a support for the retracement. So I am expecting it to take support at the support level of 1973 then to make a new high. We have the trend line from the daily time frame running over here and we have the resistance line over here. So when we look at the overall price action, it is moving higher and higher whenever it retraces. It is forming into a widening wedge. So the price action has more bullishness due to the war tension in Ukraine and Russia. Let us mark the support and resistance levels for hourly time frame. So these are all the support and resistance levels for hourly time frame. Currently when we look at the price action, it is on a retracement forming a red color candle. We can expect it to take support at the support level of 1980, which is the next support level in hourly time frame. And we have noticed that this level had acted as a strong support in the past also. So if the price action takes support at this level, we can expect it to start its bullish trend from this level. Let us do the analysis in 30 minutes time frame. I am in 30 minutes time frame now. When we look at the price action in 30 minutes time frame, we have the higher time frame resistance and support levels over here. And previously the price action was in a very strong bullish trend and took resistance on the resistance line from the hourly time frame and it is on a retracement or it is in a consolidation. I have also drawn the trend line or the support line over here. 
and if the price action retraces also we can expect it to take support on this trend line then to bounce back on the bullish side and when we look at the past price action also it always makes a double top or triple tops then goes on a bullish trend currently also you can notice that it is making a triple top we can expect it to come and take support on this trend line then to continue with bullish trend so whenever it makes a triple top or the double top pattern we can expect a retracement to start currently the price level of 2002 is acting as a strong resistance for the current price action and when we look at the price action it is forming into a triangle pattern and it is consolidating we can expect it to break this resistance line and to continue on a bullish trend as long as the war tension continues let us mark the support and resistance levels so these are all the support and resistance levels for the 30 minutes time frame currently the price action is in a retracement we can expect it to take support on this trend line or the support line then to bounce back on the bullish trend and if it continues its bullish trend the first level of resistance is going to be around 2002 and it has to break this resistance level in order to test the next level of resistance which is from the higher time frame 2014 and next level of resistance is going to be around 2024 currently the price action is only on a retracement it is not a bearish trend reversal for now let us do the analysis in 5 minutes time frame i am in 5 minutes time frame when we look at the price action in 5 minutes time frame it is not going anywhere you can notice that it was on a very nice bullish trend found resistance on the resistance line from the hourly time frame and the bearish trend reversal happened and took support on the support line from the 30 minutes time frame and again went on a bullish trend and tested the same resistance level and currently the price action is in a retracement the price action is only moving on a sideways it's not making a new high or new lows it is consolidating at this price level again i would recommend you to draw trend lines like this whenever the price action breaks this trend line you can go on a bearish side trades but currently there is russia ukraine war tension so i wouldn't recommend you to take trades on the bearish side wait for it to take support on the higher time frame support levels then go on a bullish side trades because overall when we look at the price action it is still in a very strong bullish trend and currently the price action is consolidating soon we can expect a bullish trend to start in this currency pair let us mark the support and resistance levels so these are all the resistance and support levels in 5 minutes time frame thank you for watching this video if you have found this video to be useful press that like button and share this video with your friends